Revelation 9, The Truth About Gang Stalking, Part 2, The Technology, and the Real End Game. 1. Since 1955, microwave ovens have been available to the public. Any engineer with a microwave has been able to turn their microwave into a directed energy weapon since 1955. The chief reason microwave beams have not been openly used as a weapon is the fact that they have been so useful as a covert weapon. Also it happens to be far more difficult to kill someone with a microwave beam than to simply shoot them with a bullet. 2. Even though almost everyone has a microwave in their kitchen, the idea of a microwave-directed energy weapon being used for non-touch torture of political dissidents and whistleblowers is somehow an exotic thought. 3. If directed energy weapons were real, people figure the police or military would certainly be using them by now, wouldn't they? The reason they aren't, because such weapons are too useful to covertly suppress dissent, itself sounds like a crazy conspiracy theory. It's perfect, because it not only inflicts pain from a distance, without leaving any evidence, but it makes people sound totally insane if they ever try to tell people about it. 4. The technologies employed by gang stalking programs have evolved since the 1950s. Indeed, it wasn't just energy and anti-gravity propulsion technologies that have been developed and kept secret from the masses. There are several other mind-blowing technologies. 5. The greatest of these occult technologies are consciousness technologies. There are only two things that UFO experiencers stories all have in common. The first is the anti-gravity craft, which has led to the occulted energy technologies. The second is the way in which the ET invariably communicate with them, telepathy. We have not only reverse engineered anti-gravity propulsion, but we have learned the physics of consciousness and developed methods of synthetic telepathy. 5.5 Note, after writing the first draft of this article, it has come to my attention that a FOIA request to the Washington State Fusion Center resulted in the accidental release of records documenting the effects of remote mind control via psychoelectronic weapon technology. This technology has been in use for at least 40 years, but the disclosure was accidentally made by the government within 24 hours of the first drafting of this article. What a highly improbable coincidence. 6. This is not just the coolest technology ever, but it is unfortunately the most powerful tool for making someone appear totally bunkers. I already sound insane just writing about it, a little less so, after the accidental FOIA disclosure, but just imagine being a victim of it trying to explain it to someone. So, let me get this straight. You are hearing voices, you're either on drugs, or need help finding your marbles, those are the only two possibilities, unfortunately, there has long been a third possibility. Absent a family history of schizophrenia, and absent any psychoactive pharmaceuticals, the most probable reason for hearing voices has for several decades, and in many places in the world, been the use of psycho. Electronic weapons as a form of counterintelligence and cultural gaslighting, to intimidate, silence, disemploy, and discredit the target. 7. What the gang stalkers don't fully realize, however, is that this technology and system of suppression has effectively sorted society into three groups. 1. The majority of oblivious sheeple, who either are unaware of gang stalking and organized harassment, or act as if they are unaware, as it does not affect them. 2. The gang stalkers, who participate in criminal vigilante abuse of targeted individuals, at the behest of authorities within the security state. 3. The targeted individuals, people whose intelligence and knowledge is high enough to be considered a threat, and whose spiritual backbone is too strong to break. 8. In other words, there are a. Oblivious sheeple, b. Spineless bootlickers, and c. The TIs, whose IQ, knowledge, and character are all superior to the former two categories. The TIs are too smart to be sheep, and too strong to break. The biggest secret of all, bigger even than synthetic telepathy, if you can believe it, is that TIs are the true harvest. Together, we are indomitable, even if we are each isolated from society, we are still together. 9. The most occulted truth of all is the actual present, new, end game of this program, now that the NWO lost. Just as the time is finally coming for the energy technologies to be revealed, the time is also coming for the revelation of the gang stalking program. Not only will everyone realize that TIs have been isolated and abused, but that many members of the community have been abusing them.
Ten, the gang stalkers thought they were the future because they were smart or shrewd enough to be on the right side. They bent to the cabal and licked the boot of the security state, and they thought that this meant they would be safe in the new world order. They thought they were helping to separate the wheat from the chaff. They were. Only what they failed to realize was the fact that they were not the wheat, they were the chaff. Eleven, not only did this program identify and isolate the smartest, most knowledgeable, and highest character individuals, but they tapped into these people's minds using the most sophisticated technologies. The resulting hive mind of the smartest, most dangerously knowledgeable minds, and the people with the most unbreakable of wills, has become one of the greatest weapons military intelligence has ever wielded. So powerful, in fact, that it was impossible for the military itself to not be influenced by it. 12. This hive mind is more powerful than a supercomputer, and is jacked directly into the most powerful military on Earth. Now it is not only the most powerful military, but also the most intelligent and woke military. It was this collective intelligence that coordinated the release of just enough truth to get Trump safely elected, and has been behind his masterful strategy ever since. Well he is, indeed, a brilliant man, he is also backed up by a collective intelligence that allows him to gaslight and outweed his opponents with unprecedented finesse, and all inspiring strategic patience, playing dope on the ropes, while his opponents punch themselves to absurdist exhaustion. 13. The reason why I am able to publish this series without suffering any targeted harassment is because we are now in control. Not only am I not harassed, but the government accidentally released documents backing up my wildest of claims, coincidentally within 24 hours of my privately writing them on my laptop. Understand, patriots, that the military and the Golden Dawn have our backs. 14. We may have a little more time to wait, until we can fully enjoy complete freedom again, but the bootlicking gang stalkers will spend the rest of their lives knowing that when the pressure was on they bent to fear and intimidation only to be saved from enslavement under a totalitarian new world order by the very people they were stalking. Sad. 15. Anyone who thinks the bending, bootlicking traders and black mill slaves are going to inherit this majestic nation is totally insane. Anyone who thinks the military is going to destroy the most powerful weapon they have ever created, the collective intelligence, are similarly insane. One can only hope that the collaborators and criminal gang stalkers will be treated with mercy. 16. The Kerbal lost, the NWO lost, Trump, military intelligence, and all of the patriots, and TIs, behind Trump already won. We are in no rush to make this fax obvious, there is no reason for us to be hasty. The Great Awakening is a difficult and uncomfortable process, so we have been doing it gently, with great patience, and good humor. 17. The absurdist political theater is all part of the awakening process. Any time you think to yourself, I can't believe they, yes, great, don't believe it, that's the whole point. You're not supposed to believe it, the absurdity has been ratcheted up to help wake up the sheeple, while giving the rest of us some well-needed comic relief. 18. It will only become more and more obvious, as more and more people wake up to the fact that the game is already over. It's almost time to start playing a new game, it's almost time to step into the dawn of the golden age but only when everyone is ready.